everyone. My name is Ashton and I'm just trying to get it together. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little special. We're going to be making my best friend Ellen a onesie for her new baby. This is a very difficult time for everyone and it's a time of unknown circumstances and I know that it's very difficult for people who are pregnant right now and so I want to send these to my best friend and let her know that I'm thinking about her and that she's gonna have the most perfect baby ever so before I get started make sure you like comment and subscribe so I'm gonna give you some instructions on how to use a Cricut it's over here behind my ironing board <laughs> but how to use a Cricut to cut out certain decals on HTV and how to actually press it onto different articles of clothing, onesies specifically, so cute, <laughs> um, and how you press it with an at-home iron because I do not have a heat press. I have put countless things on garments for people and it stayed and these are things for me too. So. And I have had things that haven't stayed. So I will tell you what you need to know for that. Okay, so first thing, make sure that you have your iron plugged in and set to the setting between cotton and wool. I have mine set to five. And so since I've been doing this a lot, um, I know just about how long to press it. Something else that's very important to make sure that you know is that you press the garment before you iron it on. I've already done this before I filmed the video because it does something to the fibers so that whenever you press the HTV on, it adheres to the fibers and it stays on much longer. Something that you want to make sure that you have ready to go is that you have your design completely done in Cricut Design Space. And this is something that I can go over in a completely different video. It is a different beast in and of itself and they go through different <laughs> updates every now and then. It's not something that's too terribly difficult to navigate and I can delve into this in another video if you would like. But here is my little design. It's super cute. So, we are going to go ahead and get this started with cutting. So, you want to be able to see the shiny side. See shiny? This sticker does not matter. It's going to cut through it either way. So take the shiny side and turn it upside. Oh dear. <laughs> turn it upside down and line it up. Oh my goodness. I'll show you what I mean. So see the numbers you're gonna line it up here and make sure you have all the air bubbles out and you want to make sure that the dull side you can tell there make sure that the dull side is facing up You're gonna make it in the top right corner. Make sure if it is heat transfer vinyl that you hit mirror. Because remember, you turn the dull side up. So, hit continue. It may take a minute, it may not because there was a new update. Oh, hey. Okay, so it says material is set to vinyl and that is not true. It needs to be different, so let's fix it. Here on your knob, it needs to say iron on, so turn it to iron on. And it even tells you 
makes your mirror is turned on and iron on material shiny side it even directs you through it so don't worry if you mess up um i have a zillion times <laughs> it's okay all right so you're gonna load it onto the machine When this button lights up, that means you can press go. check the progress you can go to the screen and it will say 100% also you can look here and that tells you to unload so anyone who's ever done a project with a Cricut they will tell you that their least favorite part of the project is weeding <laughs> so peel off your project Put your mat aside. We can talk about mats and things that you need later. But this was a necessary video. A necessary video. Um, so it was kind of in a hurry. What weeding is, is whenever you can see the cut lines here. What you're gonna do is you are gonna peel. You're gonna peel away the unnecessary to get to the necessary. <laughs> and it's much easier, much easier with HTV heat transfer vinyl with regular vinyl that you stick on things rather than heat transfer press vinyl. off the additional now you have to go in between the different letters and that's the more difficult part I will say that they do make Cricut tools for this um, I don't use them I'd rather use my fingernails because this to me just is more difficult to use than my fingernails it I'm just gonna pull it out with my nails. And there you go, you have a weeded project. This does not matter. It's on the clear sheet. It's not gonna transfer onto anything. It's a price tag that was on the sheet that I bought from the store. It's not gonna matter. What's very important is that you make sure that you have all the little bits that you collected and that they make their way to the trash because unfortunately I've had some that got stuck on the clear part and they eventually got stuck on the onesies or the t-shirts or whatever that I was making and it was just not good. <laughs>
That's how to make a really cute onesie for a really cute baby. <laughs> this is how to transfer a design onto clothing using heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna send this to my best friend, Ellen. Congratulations, I know this is early. I love you so much. Brindley is gonna be perfect. Yay, I'm so excited. This is gonna be awesome. <sighs> Anyway, if you like these videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I enjoy doing tutorials and all of this stuff, so let me know in the comments down below and whatnot. So, that's it for today's video. See y'all next time.